Lao Fan's four lessons. The first lesson was about Lao Fan himself, how he changed his destiny. The second lesson was about ways to reform. And the third chapter is about cultivating all the goodness. There's a lot of things we can do to be virtuous and to change our life for the better. Here we list the 10 good things that you can do to change your life for the better. If you do all these 10 things every day and accumulate a lot of merit, you will have a great life. The first is to support the practice of kindness. When other people are doing good deeds, but they need help, you want to be the person that helped them out and guide them. There was an emperor in the Chinese history, his name is Sun. Before he became an emperor, he was a countryman. One time he saw a young fishermen, they were taking up all the good fishing spots. Older fishermen take the shallow water, there's like no fish. So Sun actually became a fisherman. Every time he sees someone you know, yielding the good spot to the older and the weak, he kept praising them, oh you guys are really nice, really good. And when he see someone being selfish, he just didn't say anything. After a year, he changed the whole culture. Everybody became yielding and let the old people have the better spot and the younger person they just take the harder spot to fish. That's what we mean by supporting the practice of kindness, helping others you know, do good deeds. The second one is revere love and respect. What's the difference between a gentleman and a scoundrel? It's not the appearance, how you appear to be good or bad. The, the real difference is the gentleman, their heart is full of love and respect for others. There are all kinds of different people. Some are like us, some are not like us. We got to love everyone equally. For the younger ones, we full of love for them. For the elderly, we full of respect. When our intention is good, then we can do a lot of good deeds. It depends on your heart that is full of love and respect. The third one is help others succeed in practicing kind deeds. Uh, you want to help others succeed. Virtuous people, they try to do good deeds, but a lot of times they might have a lot of difficulties. People might try to stop them, and a lot of times good people will get slandered and have a lot of criticism. What do you do? We are supposed to share the burden of blame. If they're getting blamed, share the burden. Help take the criticism so they will have the courage to do more good deeds. So help others succeed is very important, not to be jealous or try to sabotage what they're doing. No. Other people's success is your success when they're doing good deeds. The fourth one is persuade others to practice kindness. We all have good conscience, but sometimes our bad conscience get in the way and we can do some bad deeds. Taking drugs, you know, having affairs, or doing bad business. Your mind is muddled and don't know what to do. You are a friend, you're supposed to help them. Persuade them to do otherwise. Tell them good deeds will end up in good results. Bad deeds will have bad results. So persuade them not to do the bad thing. That's being a true friend. But it's really hard to give people advice. When you give advice, do people actually listen to you? Usually, no. So what do you do? You have to be very, very sincere. The person's got to believe you in order for your advice to work. If they don't believe you, they won't listen to you. Okay, so you gotta be a true friend. Believe in your own power to help others change for the better. The fifth one is help those in desperate need. Oftentimes we give gifts when there's no need to give. Here's a present, here's Christmas, and all. we give presents that's not necessary. We're just doing it just because everyone's doing it. You wanna give gifts when they really need it. They're in financial trouble, they have disaster, they lost their loved ones, or they're very depressed, want to commit suicide. When they're in need, your help really helps. You know, when you're there for them, or you give them a little support, it's not how big or small your kindness is. It's give it at the right time when they really need it. You help them out and support them to go through that bad phase when they're going through crisis. The sixth one is develop public projects for the greater benefit of the people. Virtuous person do good deeds for the general public. Or for example, uh, build bridges, irrigation, uh, streets, and have hospitals and schools. These are all public projects. Even though we don't have the power to do so much big projects, what you can do is join Red Cross or things like that you know, to help 
out with a big project, then that is a virtuous person. The seventh one is practice merit of giving well. We all love money, so it's really hard to give up money. Okay, nobody wants to give up their wealth. Okay, so it's very important you want to give up what you love the most. How we practice giving things is by first donating. First you try to donate your money. Then you can donate bigger things. Like Shakyamuni Buddha, he actually sacrifices his life and fed the hungry tiger. But that is called practicing the merit of giving up wealth and become virtuous. The eighth one is protect and maintain proper teaching. If there's no such thing as Buddhism, spirituality, and like this book, how are we going to have standards? How is people going to live for a better life? Change their ways, all these boundaries and all these delusions about life. How are we going to have good teaching to teach us? You got to protect these good teachings. Help everybody that's doing it and pass out the books so everybody will learn and become good. One person can change the whole society. So believe in yourself and your power to spread the good teaching, the proper teaching. And the ninth one is respect elderly. Uh, Chinese culture for 5,000 years, we're all about respect. This elderly, we mean our parents, your boss, our superior, our president, anybody that's elder and has more knowledge, have more uh, virtue. Those are the people that we should respect. Loyalty and filial piety is really big in the Chinese history. When you're doing things for your parents and for your boss, don't try to do things behind their back, not following the rules when they're not watching. When you're truly respectful, you will do everything that they ask you to do. Even when they're not watching, you will still be good. That's called true respect. And the tenth one is love and cherish all living things. What makes a human is our compassion. You know, our compassion is our true self nature. So you have to love all living things. They all have life, they all want to live. Nobody wants to die. You gotta cherish all living things, even a little ant, a spider, a rat. Uh, most of us try to be vegetarian, so we will eat less meat because through the reincarnation, they can be a Buddha one day. If you eat them, you can be eating a future Buddha. So we try not to eat too much meat. Okay, so that's the class for today, and we will talk about the last lesson next time. So thank you for listening on Mitofo. Yeah.